Hello, this is a quick look at the iRulu X1S 7-inch Android tablet. This is a very cheap tablet, so if you're just looking for something for the kids, this could be one to consider. You can see on the back all the various ports labelled up, volume up, volume down, memory card slot. It comes running Android 4.4.2, so it's a pretty old version of Android, but it runs it okay. It's relatively smooth, although there is noticeable lag at times so there I've just pressed the home button nothing's happening eventually it will catch up and that lag is present throughout uh, gameplay wise it won't run Asphalt 8 this is Modern Combat 5 and it's, it's pretty much unplayable you can see even when it gets a bit of a flow on it's still very very jerky do keep in mind however that this is a really cheap tablet so you wouldn't expect it to be able to play these higher end games especially well as you'd expect on a budget tablet, the camera isn't fantastic. You can take photos and video, but the photos tend to be fairly washed out, lacking in colour. They're just not brilliant photos, and you're probably not going to be using this instead of your main camera. But again, if this was for kids, you know, it's, it's a camera for them to have a little play with. The screen can be a little bit laggy, so I'll just demonstrate that using this uh, paint program. So again, it is perfectly fine to use this as a drawing program, but you can see there's a noticeable delay when you are touching the screen. However, where this does work really well is just as a video streamer. So this is just a YouTube video, and after the menu goes away, there's a, there's a bit of a stutter when it does the little menu animation, but actually it streams fine. And that was the case as well with Netflix. So if you're looking for just a low-cost tablet to watch some media on you can see the Netflix interface is fairly smooth a little bit laggy when asked to load up uh, more films and TV shows but once actually it gets going again once the menu disappears it actually runs okay now one area that you might notice on this particular film as well though is it's quite a reflective screen you get okay viewing angles but a little bit reflective so when you consider the low cost of this tablet you know it's not going to get you top specs you're not going to be able to play top of the range games you're not going to be able to take great photos but you can surf the web, you can watch some YouTube, you can watch some Netflix. Hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.